the debate and discussion around inequality and redistribution in fact if you look at the economic inequalities if you look at the unemployment problem there are two burning issues or you can say these two issues are being debated in the newspapers quite often one is increasing wealth and income inequalities at the same time the second issue is employment crisis and two questions you can expect on this front in any examination i framed one question pertaining to this redistribution in fact in the context of sham petrodas comment with regard to a case for inheritance tax this issue came to the forefront i already explained in yesterday's lecture with regard to inheritance tax which was imposed in 1953 and shelved in 1985 because it was not workable wealth tax that came in 1957 and shelved in 2015 and there are several efforts made towards redistribution since independence and just look at the question carefully the debate and discussion around inequality and redistribution there are inequalities they were understood at the time of independence itself several efforts have been made towards redistribution has been nothing new that means the debate and discussion about inequality and redistribution that has been nothing new and the successive governments since independence made several efforts towards this end discuss the question is when we are talking about inheritance tax when we are talking about economic inequalities when we are talking about wealth inequalities these are nothing new in fact after independence the first government itself knows about economic inequalities but after economic reforms the economic inequalities they are increasing and various statistics show that during the past 10 years there is a huge divergence in the rich and the poor and in this context look at the question carefully debate and discussion around inequality and redistribution has been nothing new and the successive government since independence made several efforts towards this and discuss that means since independence this issue is there governments have made several attempts it is yet to be resolved discuss it you can end with some recommendation or something that is the crux of the question you can make a good beginning concentration of both wealth and inequality that had been identified at the time of independence itself accordingly successive governments have taken various measures towards this end in fact this appears little bit of repetition of what the question is asked you can think of some better beginning for this or you can say the issue came to the forefront once again you can make beginning like this the issue of increasing inequalities came to the forefront once again in the context of deliberations about inheritance tax this issue is because of comment made by one of the political personality or you can make much better beginning also like the issue with regard to increasing economic inequalities wealth inequalities came to the forefront once again in the context of deliberations heated arguments about inheritance tax and you can also write another statement the statistical evidence shows that there is increasing economic and wealth inequalities after the economic reforms of 1991 you can make a good beginning with these two statements then the crux is successive governments made several efforts so you have to give primacy to that what are the efforts made by successive governments towards the redistribution abolition of uttar pradesh zamindari abolition gland reforms act 1950 and several efforts have been made towards redistribution land reforms you can say 
across the country there are efforts made towards land reforms by various state governments in fact voluntary distribution you see bhutan movement by acharya vinoba bhave that has also made significant impact then hindu succession act in fact prior to that the inheritance was going to the eldest son that was changed through hindu succession act that is also towards the redistribution then introduction of inheritance tax wealth tax these are towards the redistribution though they have not worked and introduction of gift tax and capital gains tax both are still existent and increase in the income tax in fact in 1970s income tax levels reached around 97% or so and inheritance tax that is estate duty reached around 85% or so in fact government was aware about it that's why it imposed very high income tax very high uh, inheritance tax and all efforts by the planning commission planning commission has made several efforts of giving funds to the undeveloped countries or underdeveloped countries efforts by constitutional body finance commission so like that you can quote any number of examples about the measures taken since independence you can also write that some of the measures could not work land reforms it gave mixed results inheritance tax was withdrawn and wealth tax was also withdrawn taxation rates were reduced significantly after reaching abnormal highs and economic reform since 1990s is leading to further increase in wealth and income inequalities and you can write this point subsequently several state governments are now trying to ensure redistribution by in fact direct benefit transfers lot of money is being transferred through direct benefit transfers to the masses by various state governments that is continuing increase that is being increased significantly in recent times that is one way of redistribution but the important aspect is the tax to gdp ratio for the states and center put together is just 17% of gdp and it is stagnant and for the peer country like brazil it is 25% and another important aspect for the states and center put together indirect taxes are high indirect taxes means they affect the poor disproportionately so this element is against redistribution so direct taxes are to be increased for the center and states put together as a whole second is tax to gdp ratio has to go up to 25% and to balance the aspect of morality at the aspect of reasonableness you have to think about some inheritance tax or some form of taxing the rich and moral imperativeness and reasonableness these are to be balanced so political spectrum should sit together to correct the imbalances that way you can end the answer for this question next one is very very important question because unemployment especially all these four questions are most important the way of writing answers may differ this is the way i thought of answering this question you can improve it you can modify it you can get many more thoughts but the important aspect please don't forget whatever questions i have taken today they are very important one or the other forms you may get these questions in upsc mains examination or in any group 1 or pcs examination first one is about geopolitical competition between united states of america and china in fact india is in the cross heights in this geopolitical tensions so a question may definitely ask with regard to increasing hostilities between usa and china though some tying is there in recent times and what are the foreign policy challenges as far as india is concerned this is very very important dimension and the second important dimension is economic inequalities they are glaring wealth inequalities economic inequalities and here the important aspect is about redistribution what have been the this question is about what have been the efforts towards redistribution since independence but what needs to be done by the governments a question may be asked economic and wealth inequalities are an increase after economic reforms and find some way forward 
for towards redistribution the important aspect is this is 17 percent of gdp that should increase to 25 percent of gdp then the government will get a lot of money right and indirect taxes are to be reduced have a nice day thank you